Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to make Kima Alu Amatar. Here are all the ingredients. So I'm going to start with this side. You've got olive oil, but you can use whatever oil you want. I've got three and a half onions there, chopped up. Then I've got one whole garlic and just a bit of ginger cut up and grinded like in a paste and I've got like just over a cup of uh, peas there and I've got like four or about four and a half tomatoes grinded up there and then I've got the quinoa here you can use lamb uh, chicken meat any quinoa but I've got lamb quinoa here and I've got like about four chilies cut up in long strips a bunch of coriander and I've got some potatoes cut into small squares. And then here are the spices. So I've got one and a half teaspoon of um, red salt. And then one teaspoon of uh, crushed chilies. One and a half teaspoons of red chilies. Uh, half a teaspoon of haldi. And then a half a teaspoon of black pepper. And then I've got... Uh, some coriander powder here and then I've got like a, a spoon of coriander powder and one and a half spoon of zero as well and that's all the ingredients and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do next here I've got a few tablespoons of um, olive oil and now I'm gonna add the onions in there and I'm going to fry them until they like a golden brown colour. And I'm going to fry them on a high heat. My onions are nice and golden brown. Now I'm going to add my mince to it. So at this point I'm going to mix the quinoa well and let it cook till it's a light brown. And I'm going to make sure I'm mushing it properly so there's no lumps in there. This will release loads of water. You don't need to worry, but you just need to let it cook till it's a nice light brown colour, the colour your onions were. Now the quinoa is a nice brown colour. I'm going to add a cinnamon stick, a black cardamom, uh, a black cardamom and two bay leaves in there and cook that well. There's a lot of water but we can dry that up till the next step. So at this point I'm going to add the peas in because these are frozen they will cook well because there's a lot of water released so I'm just going to mix those in. And I'm going to let them cook down. So it's been about 15 minutes since the quinoa and the mutter have been cooking. So now I'm going to add the ginger garlic paste, all of it. And I'm just going to mix it well. And then I'm going to let that cook for another 5-10 minutes. So it's been about 10 minutes this has been cooking since I put the ginger and garlic paste in. And we'll put the tomato paste in and then stir it well and let it cook for another about 10 minutes. Just mix it well. So it's been about 5 minutes since it's been cooking with the tomatoes in. Now I'm going to place the potatoes in. Because there's quite a lot of water in this. The game, because the quinoa had a bit of water in as well and then the tomatoes have released water so the potatoes will cook in there and then I'll tell you what the next step is just mix it well and just let it cook it's from the beginning till now it's been on high flame and you can keep it on till high flame because there's plenty of water in there and at this point you can cover and cook it as well it's been about another 10 minutes since I've covered and cooked it the quinoa has released a lot of water 
at this point I'm going to add the spices in all of them all of them in and then mix them well and then I'm going to cover and cook it again and then I'm going to cook it till the point where all this is the water in there is proper dry so I'll show you when the water is dry now since I put the spices in I had it covered and I've been cooking it so it has released its oil at this point which is a good sign that means the water's drying up there's not much water left in there and um, now I'm gonna add the chopped green chilies I'm just gonna mix them in again once they're mixed in you're gonna carry on covering it cooking it for another maybe 10 minutes it's been another 10 minutes since I put the chilies in you can see it's turned a nice red colour, the quinoa is a nice colour so now I'm going to add the chopped coriander mix it in well so now I'm going to let this cook for another 10 minutes uh, and now I'm going to check the potatoes as well I'm going to put a knife through the potato here. It is going through but it's not going through so easily. So I'm going to cook the bread and cook it for another 10 minutes and it should be done because the potatoes are chopped very small. The quinoa is fully cooked now. So from the start to the end till now it took me just over an hour to make lamb kima aloo and mutter. You can see it's a lovely colour. I'm going to plate it up and show you how it is. Nice delicious kima aloo and mutter. I hope you enjoyed my recipe. Keep watching for some more. Thank you. Bye.